Welcome back to Wasteland 2. It's time to pick up our suits. Before the start of this episode, I took the liberty of selling some junk and buying a little bit of ammo. And stuffing some stuff that I didn't need anymore, such as the extra bag of cat litter and the 10 pound bag of zeolite into my storage compartment uh, magical portal to infinite space thing. Anyway, let's pick up our new suit. There you are, Rangers. The new rad suits are ready and waiting. You should be able to get through the northern radiation wall with no difficulty. Now as for the southern radiation wall, like I said before, it's going to take some of the good stuff. Medical grade zeolite. Keep an eye out for it when you're up in Griffith. We'll probably keep it in a secure area. For now, just grab all you can find. I won't know exactly how much we need until I can talk it over with Merkaptain. Uh... Hi. Surrender immediately, resist, and you will be shut down. Don't worry. They ain't gonna damage shit. Oh my god, that really hurt. Thankfully though, of course, since Harper's wearing a bondage vest, he likes pain. Ooh. In fact, can I reprogram you? Hold on. 5 AP. I don't think you actually have the AP to do that. Do you? Oh shit, you do. Yeah, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Well, let's do this. Gonna reprogram the absolutely uh, most powerful one here. Hell yeah! It's gonna make mincemeat of these little fuckers out here. Alright, you're an idiot, so run away. I did make him better at brawling, though. Eh. Man, Harper's taking a beating. Oh, there we go. Spreading the pain out. Oh shit, there's more! I didn't realize there was more. Well, at least Lexcanium can be a distraction. Jesus. Yeah, nice one, Corin. Nice. Ye, ye. Whoops. Okay, I need to get into a position where I can actually shoot. Because this ain't good. Can I shoot from here? Uh, yeah, I can shoot one. I don't want to block the door. I'm just going to stay here. Oh my god, these people are so low level, they have like no hit points. He's got 89 hit points. That's not good. That's really not good. Yeah, get him! You know what? I just realized what this is like. What I just did. By hacking the industrial worker bot. You know what that's like? That's like mind control. Like, the card mind control that priests use in Hearthstone. It's like mind control. You know, it takes a lot of action points, it takes a lot of mana. It basically took up my entire turn hacking him. But, even though it's very costly, what did I gain? Well, it's basically twofold. I basically killed an enemy by taking it away from them, which is effectively the same as killing it. You know, the enemy no longer has that minion to fight. And I also gained a minion of my own. So it's a double benefit. I killed one of theirs, kind of, and I gained a minion. It's basically like mind control.
I don't know why that excites me so much, but that's kind of cool. Um, this sucks. Let's move here. Plink. Unless, hmm, maybe I want to hack him. Nah, let's kill him. I'll hack the other one. Yeah, let's go for this guy. Unless... Unless you don't have the app. You don't have the app, do you? No, shit, it takes 5 AP. Why does he only have 7 AP? Oh! It's because he's stunned. Okay, well, let's hack this one. You know, if he dies, because he's not in my party, I don't know if I can actually revive him. Not that I would care, but it's a little bit disturbing. Having somebody who was once my partner permanently die. Okay, you actually need to get in on the fight. Um, I suppose I'm probably gonna reprogram this dude, so... Uh... Mm, block the door, kind of. Yeah! That was a weird target to go for. Yeah. Okay, I don't think we're actually gonna reprogram you. Uh, Pazepi could take care of him. Yeah, let's go for you. 100% chance of a hedge off from that distance. Beautiful. Oh, Corn Cane is blocking the way. Thank you so much, buddy. I love you. Yeah, no good sight on it. Uh, just move closer into cover. Get him. Get him. That reprogram ability is really awesome. Can I reprogram a slicer dicer? That would be so fucking cool. Ah, oh, I wonder if you can do it. Alright, well, you're dead. We need some healing. But there's a doctor by the front gate, or at least there was. Maybe they've gotten killed by the robots when they came in. But uh, I'm gonna save my medical supplies for now. Don't think she's gonna die. Nah. She'll be fine. These things have the right kind of ammo. Yeah, look at that. That's the ammo I use for my assault rifles. And I've got like 20 per. Nice. All right, so about those suits.
I won't know exactly how much we need until I can talk it over with Mercury. That's what you said before. Did you give us the suit? I don't know, like, robots busted through the walls so I wasn't looking. Is that it? Oh. I guess it is. Thank you. I guess we no longer need that, because it's crappier, so... Let's go shove that in a deep, dark hole. And anything else I want to shove in a deep, dark hole? Let's hope those people are still out front. I really want that healing. Okay, so what am I going to do? This gives me access to the south, right? I think it's the south. Or is that the north? It's only one direction. Not the band. Um, I guess I'll just go south. Angel Oracle, Angel Oracle, Angel Oracle. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, where is Griffith Park? It's not actually on the map, is it? Nope. Anyway, good to see y'all are alive. So my weapon parts, which I actually forgot to sell before. And my spare servos and what's it. Let's get some healing. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, I still have a point, uh, an attribute point to distribute with Theodore, don't I? I totally forgot about that. Ah well, some other year I'll deal with that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, combat? What the? I'm like two feet away from Santa Fe Springs. Balls. Irradiated balls. Hi. I don't like you. Please die quickly. I am going to kill these people as fast as possible. Another one bites the dust. Just go annoy them, I guess. Not gonna waste ammo, just do single shots. Little pew pew pew. That guy can't move anywhere, so he's not gonna be able to attack this turn. You suck! Get some new legs, asshole. Oh, 21 damage. No.
I guess I might as well just move away. I'm pretty sure he still won't be able to attack this turn. Grand Slam Weight. Eight weapon smithing. Plus 15% critical chance, wow. Copy. Congratulations. Alright, Pazepi, four points, not enough. Did anybody else sleep, reach level 30? Oh yeah, Harper's got a point too. So that, oh, that's three with attribute points. Four? Five? Okay. <laughs> Five attribute points to distribute. I can't handle it, it's too much, I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Um, alright, so it looks like we can actually go north, not south. Because south is six radiation and north is five. So north it is. For the love of God, no. Thank God. Okay. We're somewhere new. Friends, I'm here to tell you that we are not all damned. That there is indeed a path to salvation, and it was revealed to us by the prophet of Gower Gulch. The great James King himself, before the first bombs fell. Further, we have been led up that path all the way to heaven by God's second anointed son, Luke Samson, the Red Messiah. And what is this path? How do poor, wretched sinners such as ourselves rise from the filth of this world to the gates of paradise? Why, friends, that is simplicity itself an easy three-step plan. First, you must turn from sin and strive to live a decent life, following the scriptures of the one true book, the James King version of the Holy Bible. Second, you must encourage others to do the same. And third, when confronted with those who refuse to come to the light, those who are willfully wicked, those who revel in sin and depravity and will not hear the word of the Lord, why those you must cleanse from the world with fire, sword, and shotgun. As James King said, and our savior, Red Samson, reiterated, the slate must be wiped clean. Can I get an amen, brothers and sisters? But, brother malediction, I hear you. Okay, I think I get the picture. Brother malediction. We're going to Hollywood. Oh man, we're going to make it big. I totally want to enter Yulia in a fashion contest. She would win. She looks fucking amazing. Those pants are off the charts. I don't know what a pants chart is, but it's off them. Let me check out this sexy dress shirt. Well, potentially sexy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I think that's what he was wearing before. Well, after having his shirt blown off, it's nice to finally go back to it. And what the hell am I hearing? Am I hearing bears? What is that? Alright, I've heard some sexy advertisements about this place. This place looks like a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Fun town! Exactly. We're going to Hollywood! Ooh, can I get a portrait taken of us? Look, he's wearing a bondage vest too. 
And he just said swoop. I don't even know what that means, but yes, swoop. Is this the, the local Hollywood lingo? Their own regional dialect? Clouds are very, very free. Uh, you mean price-wise or like freedom-wise? Either way, you're fucking nuts. On a makeshift easel, crafted from parking enforcement signs, rests a half-finished landscape painting, showing the Hollywood skyline set against the Hollywood hills. A brilliant orange sky illuminates deep green uh, vines, entwining shadowed buildings, as happy palm trees reach up towards the crimson ball of the setting sun. In the foreground, a woman with dazzling blue Liberty Spikes curb stomps the outline of a figure. Looks like Sean's got a little work left to do. None of those things are actually in this picture. But it's okay, the words paint the picture. What's going on? MP Boz? What in the hell is she talking about? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Hi. Woman and man. Hi, man, woman. Somebody's gotta help, we're being attacked. I can help with that. Hi. Beaded hair, incredible cheekbones, bright blue eyes, the girl is definitely- What? Um, hold on, I hear people are dying. Yes, I'll help. Yes. 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 No, one died! I think they were dying as we were talking to her. Like, I'm not gonna slow down and read that when people are getting their legs chewed off. Four armor, not good. Not good for energy weapon, I mean. Not good for energy weapons, I mean, to be grammatically correct. Go punch him one good. Oh, he's out of range. You're useless as usual. Run away, idiot. Sixty-nine. Almost. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Yeah, look at that. Fifty-five to seventy damage. Ouchie. Actually, I don't need a four burst, do I? No, I don't. I can just do a single shot. Okay, be very careful with your aim, Yulia. Okay, don't miss. Whew. Saved everybody but her. Oh, it's okay. It was just a generically named prostitute. Nobody cares about generically named characters. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Oh my god, there's like 50 billion gravestones to read. I am not going to read them all. 
Montgomery Markland, still wishing for more shells for his shotgun. <laughs> Josh Jertberg, out of quarters. In loving memory of George Zitz, flocked to death by Amoris chickens. I don't even know what Amoris means. And I think it's pronounced Amoris, not Amoris. Oh, is that like amoral? Like chickens without morals or something? I don't know. Also, I can dig up these graves, but let's not do that. That's a terrible idea. Most likely bad things will happen. What's going on? Did you just call us piggies? This is the People's Republic of Hollywood. No pigs allowed. Why do you call us pigs? Are you kidding me? The weapons? The badges? Never trust a uniform. That's my motto. You're nothing but another brand of fascists. No different than the HCC or God's Militia. Why don't you go beat up some junkies? Well, I would go beat up some junkies, but I'm too busy beating up you. Actually, no, I guess we're talking. Uh, let's keep talking. Tell me about the heck. <laughs> Hookers, casinos, and crooks? Oh, I'm sorry. I always get that wrong. Hollywood Chamber of Commerce? They want us to think they work for the welfare of all Hollywood, but they only protect their own businesses. They put all their money into keeping the tourists happy and fighting those god militia freaks. There isn't one penny left over to help the people who actually live here. We can all go die as far as they're concerned. What do you know about God's Militia? Only good thing the HCC does is keep those wackos out of Hollywood. This town may be corrupt, but the Militia are religious fascists. They worship some sledgehammer messiah who preached that the only good sinner is a dead sinner. I'll be honest, they scare the shit out of me. What does Republic of Hollywood mean? This looks like a hobo jungle. Spoken like a true pig. This is only truly safe... This... This is only... This is only truly safe place in Hollywood. I just like how that sounds. This is only truly safe place in Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> a shelter for the homeless and runaways that all the rest of these slimy fucks prey on. We keep them safe from people like you. Now get out of here, stalker. Okay, bye. Insanity is just a state of mind. Well, yeah. Like a mental ailment state of mind. Johnny Maloney. I'm pretty sure your name isn't pronounced Joni Maloney, but I want to say Joni Maloney because it sounds cool. What's up, Joni Maloney? Name's Johnny Maloney. You need a grave dug? Oh, hey, you could help me with some beasties. So you dig graves, huh? Huh? That's my job. Digging graves. Make coffins, too, if you need one. Just tell me how big you want it and pay the price and I'll dig you something nice. Okay. Can you make a coffin about... three inches high and about two inches wide? I think my pet rock died. What beasties? Don't know what they are exactly, but they're sure making a mess of the place. Tearing up the graves, eating the bodies. It's terrible. Can barely hold them back. I ain't even eat in a few days. I'm so hungry I could eat a painting of a sandwich. <laughs> I might be able to make that happen. Need help? Well, why not? You look like you're handy with a weapon. You clear out this little infestation of mine. Don't go messing with untouched graves. You dig up any of my customers, and I'll give you a couple shots of double lot back. Uh, double, double lot back. Yes, a couple shots of double lot back. Very painful. Come back to me with all them vermin cleared out and all my graves unmolested, and I might throw in something extra. Okay. Where's the beasties? Is there some sort of a crypt, or are they just up here? And ooh, box. Ooh, pain. Ooh, box. Oh, it's locked. Oh, 
What the hell is that? Whoa, it's a proton axe. Hmm. Need six strength. Really need six strength. Does anybody even have six strength? Oh, she does. Huh, that thing is heavy as hell, though. Gonna have to process it awfully soon. Alright, where's your beastie problem? Oh, hi. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up. Blood beast. Okay, so they're very weak. But they do a lot of damage. And I already know they can move very far. No doubt. Uh, these toads are crappy, though. They can probably move really far, but they don't do much damage. Alright, let's clear them out from afar. Let's level up, actually. Copy, Ranger. Echo. Congratulations, Echo. Five points, not enough for anything. Look at the range. Oh, look at that range. It's beautiful. And they're all melee characters, so we can just wait for them to come to us. Yeah, those frogs have a lot of AP. Or, well, maybe not a lot of AP, but just a lot of speed. Which, I guess... I, I think speed, like, makes it so movement costs less AP? Or something like that. Actually, what am I doing? I should be going for the wolves. Because I'm not even slightly worried about the toads. Five armor. Yeah, burst is probably still worth it. Only needed two out of the three shots, but it's fine. Three hit points, almost. It's gonna get one or two hits in. <laughs> nice. Uh, forget the toad. Just conserving my ammo here, not doing any bursts, don't need to. That's actually a lot of damage. The chance of that is not bad, but let's just kind of guarantee it. There we go. I love that trinket. Um. Oh, right, that gets her safe cracking up to 10. So, yeah, her chance to crack at 63% is actually the best it's ever going to get. Because her safe cracking skill is just completely maxed. And that's an alarm. Hmm. 
But wait, who's gonna come running? The animals? There's an alarm on that thing, you know, just in case that makes the owner hate me. Like, I don't think there's a stealing system in this game. I really don't think there is, but... I'm just not gonna take that. Alright, well that was easy as piss. Uh, a piece of piss pie, as the British would say, I think. That sounds about right. I can't hear any more beasties out there. Well done, strangers. Let me get you that reward. Now where did I put it? What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? No, I don't care about my, don't care about my logbook. What is it? <laughs> I guess I missed it. Was it just money, or was it something else? I guess it's just money. I don't see any particularly interesting new object. <laughs> Copy, Ranger Team. Congratulations, Echo. Okay, Harper. Four points. Yulia. Three points. Vulture's Cry. Eight points. Hmm. Yeah, she really has extra points. And I'm getting slightly annoyed with the overworld... Uh... Like, world map encounters. Typically rolling with 25% chance of evading. Let's actually up that. It's, it's just a convenience thing is the thing. That's really it. It's just convenience. Do I want to put it into that or do I want to use it for something else? I mean, I guess I could get Animal Whisperer to level 10. Nah, let's go with Outdoorsman. Save me a bit of headache. Okay, well, we've arrived at Hollywood. I'm betting this place is going to be pretty damn big. Because I'm pretty sure Hollywood is supposed to be big. So this should be fun. I'm sure there's a lot of strange political structures here and some crazy crap that I'm going to get into. But I'm going to save some of that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.